What's going on guys, and today, finally, I'm going to get to the last Nightfall. Of course, this is before the House of Wolves, in fact, it's only a couple days before House of Wolves, so this is kind of obsolete information for you guys, but up to the dark below, this is all the Nightfalls. So, this is just a side note to put in the beginning of the video to, sell, to tell you all that I am sorry for not making any videos at all, like really, we're really slack in there in that area. I know, I know, but the reason behind that is because I had a couple of tests. That is gone, and I would say that I was studying, but I, I really wasn't. I don't really study. I was actually playing Elder Scrolls Online because Tamriel Edition came out. It came out a while ago, but I kind of woke up one day and was like, hey, it's not paid subscription anymore, and I've had it, so I'm going to go play it. And that was a very bad idea because now it's all I really ever do, and it is an amazing game. I don't know why people hated on it before, but it was definitely, definitely, definitely worth the time I put into it. But now, House Wolves coming out, so let's just roll the intro and get on with this video. So let's go through the Nightfall checklist that we usually go through. Eris Morn Bounty. Check or no, well either way you're gonna get it done. Weapons that correspond to the modules or the bonuses or whatever they're called that either help or make the game harder. This week for Omnigal, it is the Arc Burn. So, Fatebringer's out, Bang of Utes out, all that good stuff. And it'll be amazing when Fatebringer can be upgraded, because that'll be very fun. Plain and simple, drop in and just do what you usually do. Would you play with three friends, because you're doing this solo to avoid social contact. So just play like you usually would, a little bit careful, but you know, there's no real actual, there's no cheeses, there's no nothing that I know of or that we know of yet. First part, plain and simple, just sit in the room by the stairs and kill everything and move on to the next room. Of course, after you kill them all, don't, don't, don't do that right there. Once you're out in the open, you're going to sit back, kind of relax, and just kill everything, of course. Don't forget that Vandal at the top, he will snipe you. And the ships, there are four ships that drop enemies, so careful, those guns on the front, they will one-shot you sometimes. Sometimes they don't, I don't know what's going on with them. But they're annoying as fuck and they will kill you, and you have to restart. You don't want to do that. After that, you should be pretty much breezing through it, if you're taking it careful and not being aggressive as hell. And you will now be coming across a lot of hive spawn, but after that, it's Omnigal. I can't really tell you, but, you know, just, there's wizards, it's thrall, I don't know why I'm telling you about the strike, but, you know, keep going. Now is the point of the video that you actually want to look at, or actually take in. And if you're coming here for a groundbreaking strategy, I'm sorry that I don't have one, but I can kind of walk you through it, not really, but I'm going to try. You're just going to sit back in this room and take out all the enemies. There is a knight across the way over there, and he will snipe you with his boomer, and he has an amazing accuracy. Just, just keep in mind that that knight in particular has amazing accuracy, and he will somehow usually kill you. It's gonna be someone killing you, it's gonna be him, or Omnigal, but she can be easily dodged. So once you killed all the enemies, you're going to start focusing your attention on Omnigal, of course taking out a shield, doing whatever, I don't know why I'm telling you how to beat a freaking thing. And to do so, you're gonna sit in front of this box, she will shoot in front of it, so sometimes she will not be able to hit you and you can just easily pick at her health. Sometimes she does slightly move her aim and it's a little bit up and she, she ends up hitting you so that's not very fun but just back off really quickly if you have that reaction and you should be fine and good to go and keep doing it over and over again so you're gonna keep doing this over and over again until of course you kill her if you don't know her patterns of course she will scream things will spawn you kill the things that spawn and you start over again and start killing her of course the each wave kind of gets a little bit harder the only thing they add is wizards and like the first one is non-hollowed and then of course they add the hollowed there's two hollowed wizards after that and she should be dead after about five screeches maybe four i don't know the exact number but that seems to be it for all the nightfalls the free house of wolves hopefully i got you that amazing gun that you were trying to get for the past eight months yeah it's been like eight months since this games came out hopefully i got you it if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more destiny things Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.